Hello and welcome back to London Cycle Routes. Today I'll be showing you how to cycle from Pimlico in central London to Walworth in south London. This ride takes about 15 minutes and you can do the whole thing on quiet streets and protected cycle lanes. By public transport the same journey takes around half an hour and requires a change of tube lines so it's much quicker to get on your bike for this one. If you find this video useful or you just enjoy watching then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I try to post new videos just like it every week. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. If you'd like to contribute as well you can find a link in the description below the video. Alright let's get going. So we're starting on Bespra Street opposite Pimlico Tube Station and we're going to duck straight down Aylesford Street. This is a relatively quiet residential street and you're unlikely to run into any traffic on here. On our left is the Tatchbrook Estate which is a large social housing estate built in the 1930s and 40s and on our right is a more typical London smart Victorian terrace. I personally really like that Pimlico has quite a socially mixed population and plenty of social housing despite being quite central in London it gives it a kind of nice urban village character I think. We then turn left onto Grosvenor Road and we get these quite decent semi-protected cycle lanes which are separated from traffic by ones most of the way. Now believe it or not this is actually rush hour and you might think if it's rush hour where are all the cyclists why they're not using it. Well the answer is that they've already got to their destination because cycling is such an efficient form of transport and they're all here waiting at the junction. If they were all in cars imagine how far that would be tailed back. Now we want to turn right here to get onto Vauxhall Bridge and the way that the lights are phased mean that we didn't have to turn across a busy lane of traffic there. It was actually stopped for us so that's quite a nice turn. It's a little bit more complicated in the opposite direction. You can either use the pedestrian crossing or you can bear right down a little cycle path slip road and then turn left to join the traffic waiting to cross the junction. So you're kind of going right to go left. Either way, you join this really excellent protected cycle lane across Vauxhall Bridge and you can see how popular it is and how well used it is on this weekday rush hour. There are loads of people out on bikes getting to work and this is a really common sight here every day. Even if it does make things slightly more hectic I just think there's something really really nice about cycling with so many other people at the same time. I don't know what it is it makes me feel almost proud in some way it's just sort of nice to be surrounded by other people on bikes. It's kind of the opposite of driving a car where the more other people are driving the less enjoyable it is because like the people on the left there you end up being stuck in traffic basically. This two-way cycle track down Harleyford Road is really excellent and I really wish that more streets in London had cycle infrastructure like it. It's really direct, wide and just pleasant to ride on. It is a bit of a shame to see this van parked on it coming up here but we are navigating around it no problem. We want to use the Toucan Crossing here to go left into Kennington Oval. Unfortunately there isn't very much pavement space to wait on it but it does give us a safe way of crossing onto this quieter street here. I've wanted to do a few routes using this street for a while as there's a handy connection on it which I'll show you in a second but until very recently this bit was actually been dug up with some gas main works you can probably see that some of the tarmac has been freshly relayed here but it is now open on our right for those unfamiliar that is the oval cricket ground it opened in 1845 and has been the home of surrey county cricket club ever since then this area is of course no longer a part of the county of Surrey but it does serve as a reminder that Lambeth once was a part of Surrey and also had a relatively rural past until the Victorian era. Now we're going to make a really easy left turn onto a protected cycleway here and I need to talk about doing this route in the opposite direction. There is a protected lane on the other side of the road going in the opposite direction but as the road is quite wide it can be tricky to make that right turn into that side street. You've got a few options doing it. You could either use the bus lane that runs next to it which does make the turn just about doable. 
You could cycle the wrong way down this side of the street, which I don't recommend, as you can see there's plenty of people using it. Or you could dismount, or you could go up to the junction a little bit further up the road and turn around there. It's really a matter of what you're comfortable with. I am going to do another video showing using that crossing in reverse, and I'll show you that the bus lane, I think, is probably the best option, just turning right. It's not ideal, though, and it would be much better to have a good way of crossing the street there to turn right into McGee Street. We've just cycled through Kennington Park and while a lot of the park is closed at night, the path that we actually went on is called the Midnight Path and from the name you might be able to guess that it is open at night. It's also reasonably well lit so you shouldn't have to worry about cycling through it. I do try and keep routes on this channel 24 hour where possible as people have got places that they need to be at night as well. So it is a relief that yeah, you can do this one at night as well, even though the rest of Kennington Park closes after dark. We are now in the London borough of Southwark and we found ourselves in the Walworth West low traffic neighborhood. This is a pretty large low traffic neighborhood from which through traffic is excluded. So people can drive in here, but they cannot use it as a through route to get to other parts of town. As you can see, it's dead quiet and there really is very little traffic around. Although I did have to negotiate around this forklift, which probably won't be here when you arrive. We're now passing through a bus gate. You can see those blue signs which say buses and bikes only. And that really is the secret to keeping this road really nice and quiet. This really is a great low traffic neighborhood and it really, really quietens down the streets to the west of Walworth Road. I think that Southwark is actually planning a couple of more in a similar area. So this one should actually be extended to the south towards Camberwell. And we'll also see it probably extended to the east of Walworth maybe as far as the Old Kent Road, which would create an absolutely huge LTN. I don't know the timescale for when these are going in. I think they're at the early stage of engagement, but when they do, it's going to be great and we'll open up loads of new routes, which I will show off on the channel. We're now at Walworth Road and in central Walworth, but I just want to show you the other side of Walworth Road, which as you can see from this road closure here with these planters, is actually also part of a low traffic neighborhood. The streets here are dead quiet and you can tell that because people feel confident riding on a mobility scooter in the road. To me, that's a sign of a successful street that has been reclaimed for people rather than cars and where cars are kind of treated more as guests. So we're basically there now and I just wanted to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, make sure you hit subscribe and if you really, really enjoyed it, you can always consider contributing to the Patreon as well. You can download a map of the route in a link in the description below the video. It's a common format GPS, GPX file. It's on the website Komoot. And I'd just like to say a huge thank you as well to viewers Isaac and John for keeping the map of all the different London cycle routes updated. You can find a link to that in the description as well. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks very much. And I will see you all again next time.